How's it going everyone? My name is Silver. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, but I decided that I wanted to give my live reaction to this. <clears throat> so guys, we finally got what I've been waiting for. New Liberator support. I've yet to look at any of this. I was just going through because I was going to do another video on something else, which I plan on doing later. But I wanted to release this right away because, as you guys know, I'm a huge Garmor fan and a huge Liberator fan. And we got Liberators. So let's see what's up with Liberators. So I am on here, as always, on the Card Fight Coalition, which is where I get my information every time it's released. And I would have been much happier if I found this out on Facebook instead of having this shift through <clears throat> information but i'm glad i didn't see it because this is my live reaction so let's hop in so new liberator support the last form of garmore makes an arrival that mean does that mean garmore is done is this will be his last evolution ever and if that is i'm really sad but as we can look at the card i can't read japanese by the way so i have no idea what this says but he has an on-stride skill that casts a counterblaster one and a GB1 skill for Vanguard. So let's go through. Which sort of makes the video dead, but the unit is Flash, Fang, Liberator, Garmore, Exceed. I actually think I wrote that down. Excel. Did I write that down? Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, I was going to do a video on Garmore, but... Yeah, no, so I did put the uh, grade 3 name into there. Oh, wait, was this the actual name of what I thought would be a grade 4 as well? I think it is Shining Fang. Nope, so we have potential for another stride. But Flash Fang, I would never have guessed that. So it's a normal grade 3, United Sanctuary. Gold Paladin, so Bushy, uh, so Bushier Monthly did have a misprint in their magazine saying this was a royal paladin unit it's human with 11 tape power we're getting into its skills which you guys have probably already read but i still haven't like i'm getting excited over reading this so let's read it auto vanguard counter blast one when you stride a g unit whose original name includes liberator or garmore you can pay the cost if you do look at the top three cards of your decks call up to two liberators cards cards Two separate rear guards, place the remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. And it has a generation break one skill. Choose a liberator rear guard, place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. And when the turn ends, you may pay the cost if you do draw. Guys, that is actually really good because this is going to allow you to have anti control decks or set up your field so um, it makes it a bit better. And I already love this skill. It's not as overpowered as i was hoping but we do have a grade two that we're gonna go over angel Agjol liberator the goal is a very popular thing in paladins so it's a normal unit from united sanctuary sorry there's a bus or something outside um it's a gold paladin high beast with 98 power generation break one counter blast soul blast one of each this unit's placed on rear from deck via the effect of your cards whose original name includes Liberator. You may pay the cost. If you if you do look at the top three cards of your deck, search for two gold paladin rear guard. Search for two search for two liberators, call them to separate rear guard. Place their main cards in the deck of your, any order. So these cards are comboing, so I see the deck forming already where you're earning four of him, four of him. And the last unit that i think is here is a liberator board image grid one generation break one when this is placed on rear if you have a liberator vanguard this unit gets 2k until end of turn it's a once per turn skill which is okay and and now for a word of vanguard r d department today's card we're introducing the following 13 strides so november 2000 gold liber the Gold Paladin Liberator with the str Stride Skill, Flash Guard More Exceed, the Support, Flash Liberator, it, when you stride the Liberator, you can pay the cost, look at the top three cards. When this is placed on rear abilities, such as Overcast Liberator or May Rain Burnout. Also, when card when you return cards at the end of turn, draw one by 
Clearing your rear guard circles, you prevent targets from retiring and locking. Yep. On top of that, when this is placed on rear circle, due to an effect called two. So it's just sort of inter it's just letting us know it's introduced. We do have some new Tachikaze Yugits, so I think we should go over them because that's only fair, being that this is an awesome video. We can go over some news today. But guys, I'm super excited for Gold Paladins. Like, really, I can't wait. Two new units have appeared for Tachikaze. We have a new Canning Dragon Heavy Azur, which has the Engorge ability and a what looks to be a Counter Blast Generation Break 1 skill. When this unit is Engorge, when this Engorged unit is retired from Rearguard by an effect, you may pay the cost. With the engorged ability, if you if you pay it, look for the top four cards of your deck called two grade two or lower cards to separate. And while the remaining cards are placed at the bottom of your deck in any order, it's pretty good. We also have a new starter, Child Dragon Little Tyranno, which is Counter Blast One. Put this to soul when this is retired from rear by paying the cost of your Vanguard with the engorged ability. You may pay the cost if you do look at the top four cards. So a lot of cards from this most recent two releases are just um, decks, deck callers, which is pretty good. We have what looks to be a new Kagero unit, Lizard Soldier Barrack. Bar, Barger. I like Barrack better. Hope they change that name to Barrack. That'd be awesome. Uh, Counter Blast 1, when this is retired from Guard Circle during battle... If the attack did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponents. So it's a it's a retiring unit. We also have a new grade three for Aqua Force. During your turn, each of your units with the wave ability or resist this unit g gains two thousand power. A lot of interesting stuff. Um, we have new support, which I have a video coming out on myself. And we have some new Angel Feather stuff that is also getting a video. But I thought I'd show it off to let you guys know to be expecting more news from, from me. But this is the Vanguard news of the day. Uh, I have other theories and videos coming out soon. I just have to get them all recorded. I have a whole bunch. So look, stay on the lookout. And by the way, guys, before you leave, remember to go over to my channel. Watch all these wonderful videos, new content on a regular basis more often than you would think as of late and if you guys are new it's very simple all you have to do is go to my video hey watch the video everyone. like that my name's make sure you click the like button and ring the bell icon over in the subscribe area but until next time guys um i've been the silver wolf i will see you all later peace